Salamat po, Lord. Patuloy ka namin pinararangalan, pinasasalamatan sa magandang ginawa mo, gagawin mo pa sa buhay po ng iyong mga anak. Father, thank you. We bless you. We glorify you, Father. In Jesus' name. At we, Lord, we declare, wala kang katulad. Ikaw ang noon ngayon at magpakailaman. Hindi ka nagbabago, hindi ka nagpukulang tapat kang Diyos. Kaya Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. And thank you. Sa so, umagang ito, Lord, as we hear from you through your words, through the words that you have pinagay mo sa puso ng iyong manak, Lord, we expect something good. Meron pa kami inaasahan sa iyo. You will reveal something to us this morning, Lord, as we hear from you. Father, thank you. We bless you. We glorify you. In Jesus' name, and everyone says, Amen and Amen. Sige, palakpakan po ng ating ating Panginoon. Hallelujah. Ang Diyos ay mabuti. God is good. And all the time, God is good. Ooh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Ngayon po, makinig po tayo ng salita ng Diyos na dadalhin po ng kanya pong anak. Pastor Zion soon. God bless you po. Good morning. Good morning po, Nina. Good morning po, mga kapatid. Uh, good morning po. At nawa tayo po ay patuloy pong uh, pinagpapala ng ating po Panginoon sa ating pong kalagitaan. Sarap pong manalangin, no? Sarap pong uh, dumulog sa Panginoon sa mga sitwasyon gaya po nito. At uh, ngayon po ay makibukas po tayo sa sita ng Panginoon sa Matthew chapter 5, verse 7. Isa pong uh, well-known passage na gusto ko pong ibahagi po sa atin. Matthew 5, verse 7. Ito po ang sinasabi ng salita ng Panginoon sa Matthew 5, verse 7. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Ulitin po natin, blessed are the merciful. For they shall receive mercy. Muli po tayo po yung manalangin. Panginoon, salamat po sa napakagandang umaga pong ito. And as we study this particular uh, character of a Christian, of a believer, Lord, help us to not just learn, help us to not just understand, but even to apply this principle in our life. Lord, we thank you. For the grace, and we thank you for the empowerment. We thank you, Lord, for this wonderful morning. This is our prayer. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Pinagpala ang isang taong punong-puno ng mercy sa kanyang buhay. Merciful. Uh, bakit po kaya nasurat po ito sa akal po ng Beatitudes? At ano po ba ang ibig sabihin ng mercy? Uh, marami pong actually aspeto ang mercy, hindi lang po pagpapatawad, kundi marami pong ibang bagay na pwede po tayong matutunan tungkol sa mercy. Marami pong mukha, no? Kung baga, uh, ang mercy po is like uh, uh, a diamond. Ang, ang kanyang uh, uh, structure o yung kanyang shape ay diamond. Ibig sabihin, marami siyang sides. At ang isang kristyano po, at tinukoy po ni Jesus na pinagpala daw po ang isang taong punong-puno ng mercy. Tinan nyo nga po yung katabi. Is that, is that person merciful? <laughs> Amen, no? At we have to practice mercy sa ating pong, hindi lamang sa ating mga mahal sa kapatid or mga care group or even our uh, fellow workers or uh, fellow uh, business people, no? When you become an agent of mercy, You will not just transform relationships. God can use you to, to transform people. That's why Jesus said, Blessed, pinagpala ang isang taong punong-puno ng biyaya o mercy sa kanyang buhay. For they will receive mercy. How do we become merciful more sa buhay kristyano? Meron pong Uh, limang aspeto lamang po na gusto ko pong ibahagi sa atin sa ating pong devotion today. First, uh, to be merciful, we need to be patient with other people. Ang isa pong taong merciful, siya po ay pasensyoso sa mga tao pong nakapaligid sa kanya. Sabi po sa James 3 verse 17 sa NLT, the wisdom From above is first of all pure. It also is peace-loving, gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. 
it is full of mercy. Ang isa daw pong may wisdom. No? Sabi dyan sa talatang, but the wisdom that is from above is pure, peaceful, gentle, reasonable. No? Ibig sabihin ng reasonable po, they think first before they act. They are full of mercy, good fruits, without partiality, walang division, without hypocrisy, walang uh, pagtatago ng totoong ugali. You get more patient with people that we are acquainted with. Minsan sanay po tayo na maging pasensyoso sa mga mahal sa buhay natin. Hindi po ba? Kasi mahal natin eh. How about people whom we do not relate to? Or sometimes under our care? The wiser you become, the more patient and merciful you become. Ulitin ko po. The wiser you become, the more patient and merciful you become. Meron pong mga panahon sa buhay natin na bibigyan tayo ng Panginoon ng mga tao na kailangan natin ng additional patience. Salamat na lang po, naging patient po yung aking mga tatay and nanay sa church sa akin. No? Kung alam nyo lang po, hindi ko po ikinakahiya. Ako po ay isang rebente. Hindi lang sa tahanan, kundi sa church. Ako po ay isang pasaway, no? Pero sa biyaya ng Panginoon, salamat po, binahal po nila ako. Salamat po, binahal niyo po ako kahit na hindi po karapat dapat. Ganun po yung mercy eh. Mercy is being patient with people's weaknesses. Na alam mo dapat lumalago na siya pero nagiging pasensyoso ka pa rin. That is mercy. Why? Kasi si Lord po, imagine niyo si Jesus, siya mismo is a person of mercy. Alam na niya na si Judas po ay itatakwil siya. Tama po ba? Alam niya na si Pedro itatakwil siya. He is God eh. Meron siyang all, all, he is all-knowing. And yet, tinanggap pa rin niya. What about tayo po mga kapatid? Meron, although hindi naman tayo all-knowing, pero may nadesert ka mga taong alam mong babagsak o magkakamali o sasaktan ka. And yet, sabi sa Bible, no? mercy is being patient. with other people. Mercy applies not just to our loved ones, but to all the people that we care to. Are you merciful with other people? Of course, hindi po natin pwedeng uh, tanggalin yung isang side na kailangan po natin maging justice. We need to do what is right. But, The Lord calls us also to merciful. Let us have that balance sa buhay po natin. Pangalawa, merciful, being merciful means giving people a second chance. Ulitin ko po. To be merciful means we give people a second chance. When somebody hurts us, we normally want to get even. Sa ating gumante And sometimes, ginagamit natin social media, di ba? To post off everything that we have done, no? Uh, last four weeks ago, uh, kung kayo po yung active sa social media, marami po nag-livestream ng mga vloggers. <laughs> Buti na lang, hindi ako nakanood nun, no? Ang dami nag-livestream, di ko, ba't ba, ba, ang dami lumalabas na livestream, sabi ko. And these people are airing out their concerns, kahit na lang sa tawang ito. Pero alam po ninyo, those people who are merciful, they give people second chance. Ephesians 4, verse 31 to 32. Ito pong sinasabi sa Ephesians 4, verse 31 to 32. Stop being bitter and angry and mad at others. Don't yell at one another. No? At all bitterness, wrath, anger, outcry, and slander be put away from you with all malice. Minsan po, di ba, ang, ang, ang daling mag-give in, na maghalit ka, kasi nasa tama ka naman eh. Or if you want to drive a point, you, you, can, you can shout all you want. But you know what? Sinasabi sa Bible, stop being angry and mad at others. Be put away from you with all malice. Instead, sabi doon, be kind to one another. Tender-hearted. Forgiving each other. Just as God also in Christ forgave you. 
Actually, napakasarap po ng verse po ito, pero minsan, sa totoong buhay, napakahirap pong gawin, di po ba? Ang hirap magpatawad yung mga taong niloko ka na, pero ano po ninyo, si Jesus mismo niloko, pero nagpatawad. And you know what? Malalaman mo na isang tao ay mature, na kahit po selectan siya, ay nandun pa rin po yung pagpapatawad niya. Even though people don't deserve forgiveness, and yet, ang isang tao pong meron pong Kristo sa puso ay handang magpatawad. One example would be is one of the largest uh, churches in the Philippines, si Pastor Peter Tan Chi. We know the story of uh, Sister Joy. No? Tan Chi, ang nangyari po, nagahasa po yung kanyang anak. No? And yet, nandun po yung kanila pong pagpapatawad. Ang sakit po nun, mga kapatid. And yet, because of the grace of God, natutubo silang magpatawad. Mercy, number two, is for giving or giving people a second chance. Pangatlo po, mercy means doing good to those who hurt you. Ulitin ko po, mercy is doing good to those who hurt you. Ibis na lumaban ka, No, sabi nga po ng isang kataga, kapag binato ka ng bato, batuin mo ng tinapay. Yung tinapay, ganyan kalaki, di ba? <laughs> We do good to those who hurt us. Mercy is giving people what they need, not what they deserve. Ulitin ko po, mercy is giving people what they need, not what they deserve. We do good to those who hurt us. Mas matindi nga sinabi ni Jesus eh. Sa Luke chapter 6, verse 35 to 36, tinan niyo po ang sinasabi ng salita ng Panginoon. Sa Luke chapter 6, verse 35 to 36, sabi dyan, Love your friends? No. Love your enemies. Do good. and lend, expecting nothing back. Ang ah, tindi nito, no? And your reward will be great. And you will be children of the Most High. For He is kind toward the unthankful and evil. Ah, mabibigat po ito, mga kapatid. Pero gusto ko lang pong focus sa pinaka-first point. Ah, lumalabas pa lang screen. Love your enemies. Sino kaya po yung mga enemies natin sa buhay natin ngayon? For sure, meron po tayong mga taong garit na garit sa atin kahit wala tayong ginagawa. Di po ba? Are you willing to love them even though they did things that offend you? Love your enemies. Being merciful means doing good to those who hurt you. And I will cut with the last two points. Being merciful means being building bridges of love to all people. What do you think po? Being merciful means building bridges of love to all people. So we build bridges, we connect people, not disconnect with them. Uh, the sad thing today in many churches is that many churches right now have that principle of cancel culture. No, na tinatanggal na po agad yung connection sa ibang mga tao. If we are full of mercy, we connect even to those people who have hurt us. Si Jesus po ay isang best example sa bagay pong yun. He was even condemned. Yes, si Jesus, sabi ng mga pariseyo, siya yung mga kasama ng mga makasalanan. Si Jesus po is so radical that people don't understand His perspective. And yet, si Jesus po is so genuine when it comes to connecting to all kinds of people. We build friendships with people. We don't... Uh, choose people for our own benefit. No, minsan, 
ang isang tao po, minsan tayo po ay mas pinipili natin yung ano, okay, pakisamahan. Tama po ba? Mas madali lang pakisamahan. Salamat na lang po sa Christ inyo. Wala pong namimili ng kaibigan, namimili lang ng miyembro. No? Hindi po tayo namimili. Kung mayaman man o mahirap, mga kapatid, anong aspeto ng buhay, you're all welcome here. And that is merciful. Kapag ang isa pong pastor o minister, lagi niyang pinipili, ang mayaman lamang, mga kapatid, there's something wrong. There's something wrong. As a minister of the Lord, we bridge people. We bridge love to all kinds of people. Mayaman man, mahirap man, may pinag-aralan man, wala man pinag-aralan. And that is what the ministry is all about. Si Jesus, pinili nga niya sa mga 12 disciples, five of them were fishermen. Walang pinag-aralan. And yet, Jesus showed how He could transform the world. Building bridges of love to all people. And last but not the least, being merciful means valuing relationships over rules and regulations. To be merciful means to value your relationship with other people instead of rules and responsibilities or regulations. Mas inuuna ang relasyon. No? Yes, meron pong proseso po sa atin pong uh, mga businesses, meron pong kailangan ng discipline, pero hindi po makawala ang relationships. You know why uh, we discipline people? Actually, ito po yung mga kailangan po natin consider. Eh. There are two types of discipline in the Bible. First, discipline for restoration, or number two, discipline for, uh, uh, ito pong discipline na number two, mas mabigat po ito. Ito po yung pagpapaalis. Si Pablo po, marami po siyang dinisipline mga tao. Kagaya po ng kanyang uh, disciple, si Timothy, kanya pong dinisciple. Di, uh, meron siyang times na dinidisipline niya, si Timothy. Kinokorek niya yung ibang mga kapatid niya sa Panginoon. Pero hindi nawawala ang relasyon. We need to put other people's uh, relationships before regulations. Choose to love people over the law. Choose to accept people despite of their failure, despite of their mistakes. In Romans 13 verse 10, it will be last verse, love fulfills the requirements of God's laws. Ang pag-ibig po ang nagbibigay ng pugay sa lahat. If you want to show mercy, put people before policies. Yan, ang ganda ng translation po ito. Ito sinasabi sa Romans 13 verse 10. Love doesn't harm a neighbor. Love, therefore, is the fulfillment of the law. So as we close, mga kapatid ko, do we practice mercy in our workplace? in our ministry, in our family, in our care group. Meron tayong mga tao po na, na kahit anong gawin po natin in encouragement, they will fail. <laughs> Kakamali po sila. Babagsak po nila. Sometimes they will even don't understand you. But be merciful to them. Be patient with them. At darating po pang, ang panahon na babaguhin sila ng Panginoon. You know, what, what is the best example of that? Ako po mismo. By the grace of God, I have been so rebellious with, the, with our church. Kung alam nyo lang po, mga kapatid, uh, munti ka na po kung umalis sa church, napaka-rebelde ko po, napaka ng ulo ko po. Pero salamat lang po, we have our leaders who are so patient. Andiyan po yung mga tatay ko at nanay ko sa pananamparataya, si Senior Pastor, at si Bishop, at si Pastor Edith, lahat po ng mga pastor, they became so patient. At ngayon, narealize ko po, kung inaalala ko po yung mga nagawa ko po, tatin nakakaya po. <laughs> Pero salamat na lang po sa biyay ng Panginoon. People like them have become so merciful. Mga kapatid, sa buhay po natin, maaaring meron tayong mga taong hindi natin maintindihan <laughs> o hindi tayo maintindihan. Ginagawa mo na ngayon the best po para sa kanila. Hindi ka pa rin maintindihan. Let us show mercy, but let us become wiser and let us learn 
to minister to all people. Tayo po yung niyo mo ko at manalangin. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the reminder, Lord, that blessed are those who are merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Lord, teach us na hindi kami uh, pipili na mga taong uh, tutulungan namin o mamahalin namin. But we will be merciful to all kinds of people, even those people who are angry with us, Lord. Yung mga taong hindi deserve ng kapatawaran. And yet, Lord, tinawag niyo po kami na to extend mercy. Masakit man, Panginoon. Mahirap man gawin ito, O God. But Lord, You are the best example. You are the best uh, example for becoming mercy. Merciful in our life. Lord, if there are people right now na nakakasakit sa amin, masakit man, Panginoon, but help us to forgive them even though they don't deserve forgiveness. Para mapalaya kami, Panginoon. Mapalaya kami sa galit, sa manan loob, Panginoon. Help us to see, not through our eyes, but through your eyes, Lord. Nakita po namin ang iyong pangitain. Hindi po sa amin nararamdaman, sa aming pong ideas, kundi sa layunin ng Panginoon sa buhay po namin. Lord, teach us to become merciful in our daily walk, in the people that we minister to. Salamat, Panginoon, for that reminder at sa aming pong pansamantalang pagwawakas, pagpalain niyo po ang bawat isa na pauwi pa lamang, papunta pa lamang sa kanilang pupuntahan, sa kanilang mga trabaho. Your blessing, your protection, and your breakthrough will overflow in their life. And let mercy arise. Help us to become more merciful, not just today, but even for the rest of our days. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Good morning po. God bless you all po. Blessed morning po. Kita-kits po tayo mamaya sa ating po service. God bless you all po. Anong papuntay sa'yo Ikaw ang Diyos Noong paman Maging ngayon at kahit nanman Sa habang panahon